We were arrested. <laughs> what led to your arrest yesterday? I hear you, yeah. Uh, well, we, uh, we were protesting, of course, in front of uh, uh, Maggie's office. And, uh, you know, of course, she wasn't there. And so the de we tried to uh, see the deputy, uh, the deputy uh, who was there. I, I saw him on occasion walk in and out of his office. And uh, however, he wouldn't talk to us either. Uh, so it got to the point where, you know, we were, uh, you know, uh, calling out, you know, uh, Maggie's name. Uh, and then uh, Sister Grace went up to the second floor, walked up to the second floor, uh, and Ryan walked up to the second floor, and I walked up to the second floor, and apparently, like, the personnel office, I think, is where we ended up. And uh, uh, Sister Grace asked a couple questions, and the police came in and said, you can't talk anymore to these people. And, uh, and uh, so, you know, we were just sitting there uh, talking about what we were going to be doing next, and the policeman came in and said to us, well, you have 60 seconds to uh, leave this office or you're going to be arrested. And 60 seconds passed very quickly, and we weren't finished. And then he says, you need to leave this office now or you're going to be arrested. And Sister Grace said, well, I'm not leaving. I also said I'm not leaving either. Sister Grace was going to be there. I'm sure not going to let her get arrested alone, you know. So, so we both were there, and Ryan really wanted to leave, and he was uh, photographing as he was leaving, backing up, and and uh, the the police, the sergeant in charge of the uh, security of the office, uh, uh, then took him, you know, and threw him down, and uh, and then arrested him also. So. That's pretty much the story about what happened. Well, so uh, you were there protesting, obviously doing civil disobedience. Why were you there? What are your demands for Maggie? Well, you know, here of course the garage, the police garage was closed. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's starting to get cold. Uh, St. Joe's is, uh, you know, has, when, the, when our shelter was open, we were full. Everybody in town was full. And, uh, you know, where are these guys going to go uh, when it gets cold? Uh, we're going to open up again in November. St. Joe's is going to open up again uh, for a full, you know, for full uh, occupancy. And, uh, but we just, you know, we don't know what, what to do, where to send the guys that uh, aren't able to, uh, you know, to get a place when everything's uh, uh, filled up. So, uh, so all we're asking for is is really a building, uh, a building to house 50 to 100 uh, homeless uh, men and women. Uh, you know, and and I think it's very probable. I think it's very. E I think it can be done by the county. The county is talking about no money. All right, mm -hmm. they don't have any money. Well, you know, what about you know what about the hotel? You know. Uh, you know, the uh, Cadillac Hotel, uh, here they're putting in over 30 percent or almost 30 percent of the population of the homeless people are being placed there by the Department of Social Service and they're spending over a million dollars a year. Well, that place is, is really sort of terrible as far as living there is concerned. They've even closed it down for a month because it didn't meet county spec specifications, you know. Uh, so now all we're asking is to look at that. Let's spend that million dollar in a reasonable fashion, you know, and, a, and, a, and a, you know, to, to look at the, the other places or other options for the homeless. And a building, for a million dollars, we can do a lot. You know, we can really do a lot. So that's all we're asking. Uh, and we just want to talk to Maggie Brooks about it. Present this, present this information that we've accumulated, and I know the county. We all we got this information from the county itself, so mm -hmm. you know it's quite a, quite available, and uh, I think very reasonable. You know, last year uh, we had a guest at St. Joe's that lost a finger. Uh, you know, through through the uh, in the in the cold, he was out there homeless. Uh, what's going to happen this year? Uh, are we going to have the same situation or worse than that? And what's it worth? Is it worth one person, five persons, or, you know, that might die in the street? And they can easily die. Now, they have no place to go. I mean, that might be the case. They may have no place to go to keep warm. And that's what we really want. We just want the guys, you know, our homeless people. And we care about each homeless person. Not five or ten, but just one. You know, one is important enough to us. Yeah, thank you.